nervous. <laughs> Dude, have you looked down yet? You good? Yeah, you good? Yeah. <laughs> cool. No? Hey guys, it's Shannon from My Heart Radio Canada here with Alex Warren. Hi. <laughs> we, we're doing an interview before we go into the edge walk, so we're both a little nervous. How are you feeling? Um... Am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. I'm shitting myself. Yeah. Me too a little bit. <laughs> this is going to be a lot. Are you scared of heights? I'm terrified of heights. Oh, hell yeah. Me too. Sick. But then when they said, hey, Alex Warren wants to do the edge walk, will you do it? I said, of course. These liars. They told me you wanted to do it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We can leave right now. We don't even have to do this. That's crazy. We have rights. Um, I was just thinking, though, one of the things that they make you do is that right there. Oh, shit. Where you have to stand forward and then you have to lean off with Are your you arms. doing that? They make you. So we're going to have to. Oh, my God. But have yeah. you skydived or like bungee jumped or anything? No, no. I refuse to do that crazy shit. Yeah, me too. I just don't think I'll be like at the end of my yeah, life. Here we like... are. <laughs> we're doing the crazy shit. Uh, yeah. You just performed a bunch of shows. Yeah. How was that? It was fun. It was really, really fun. I, I My voice is absolutely shot, but it, it'll probably be better as I get the uh, the pump of adrenaline of the fear of dying <laughs> in about five minutes. Also, might I add, <laughs> you have impeccable timing. We show up and they go, she goes, oh. No one's died yet. We could be the first. <laughs> it's true, though. Statistically. <laughs> That's crazy to say. <laughs> that is crazy to say. <laughs> I was just making small talk before we go and do this. Yep. You know? um, Who wouldn't want to hear that? Yeah. Do you get nervous performing in front of people? How yeah. Feel, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm terrified. I, I, I think this is probably the same, like, nervousness, I'd say, okay. it, to equate to it. So whatever you're feeling as we're getting up there is probably how I feel right before I get on stage. And then once I'm on stage, it's fine. Yeah, and you have all the fans just there cheering you on. I think that's the helpful part. It's it, There's nothing more intimidating than walking out and no one makes a noise. So so that's why I like when they're my shows is people tend to be happy that I'm there. Yeah, I can imagine. Your fans are so great, too. I they are like rad. They're just so supportive. Well, it's cool, too, because like everyone's kind of like we're all trauma bonded in some way. So like when I show up, everyone's just like venting and I'm venting by singing. So it's nice. Yeah, that is nice. It's nice that you can make people feel seen in a lot of ways. Too. Yeah, and it's also very new. So like a lot of people just are seeing me just just smiling and having fun because it is fun and yeah. it's it's really nice yeah i talked to you briefly on the red carpet in la for the iheart radio awards yeah and but and i think it's you have this aura around you too because right away i was like my dad's dead like you yeah. just want to yeah you just want to tell bond. me shit i love it it's yeah. so awesome do you find that a lot of people are just yeah like yeah not but, trauma dumping on you but sharing their experience it's more because i don't think a lot of people before were very open about it or like wouldn't really want to like dumb down the mood or like were afraid to say certain things in a situation because of the fear of like you know killing the vibe where now the vibe is killing the vibe so, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> at least with me like yeah. it's so fun because like we'll just throw i make so many dark jokes and i think people know that so they feel comfortable like saying shit to me yeah and I feel the same way. Like I love making people feel uncomfortable with yeah. the fact that, yeah. It's I call it I call it orphan humor or dead dad humor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then and you also only get it if the other person has also gone through it. Yes, right? or else it's everyone like, everyone else is like, oh, did, like, she, did he really okay. just say that? Yeah, but then someone else has gone through it. It's like, yeah, my mine too. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really travel a lot before no. the last couple of years. How has it been? This is your first time in Canada. Yeah, I love being in the destination. I hate the act of going to the destination. Like, I don't like elevators and airplanes and heights and. <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> um but yeah it's like I, I just i'm not a huge fan of confined spaces that i don't have control of leaving um so yeah here we are today should be wonderful a breeze That's so a dandy that i love that okay something that you've said before is you've never had the luxury of making quiet mistakes when it comes to your music yeah um damn you, i remember i said that yeah which that hit me because i'm like wow cool. because you have so many people that do have eyes on you you can't just make a mistake or have a flop or do something without so many people witnessing yeah. that. How does that feel? I'm okay with it now because I think it's really, it's, it's nice that, cause I'm constantly like, I feel like improving. I think the biggest thing is when I do a live show, I'm so new to it that there's going to be mess ups. And I love when I mess up because like, it's just exciting. And also I get so scared for it. That it shows I care. But that being said, every time I mess up, someone posts it on TikTok. <laughs> so, so that's the trade-off. But it's also cool because then I feel like in five years' time when people are looking back at all the performance videos, I feel like it's like, oh, cool. Like, you know, it is normal for, you know, singers to get nervous or singers to, you know, suck on a stage. Like, it's fully, like, fine that their voice cracks. So 
I, I, I don't know. I, I really like that there's already videos of me out there singing like shit. <laughs> it makes me happy. But I feel like your fans would be very forgiving as well, too. Oh, I for sure. It's not my you. fans. It's just yeah. the people who, who are like, oh, really? This is the guy you guys like? Right. <laughs> this guy? <laughs> <laughs> we have Actually, we posted a clip from our last interview, and the top comment is like, okay, we're finally making the right people famous, which I thought was so sweet. Well, it's very sweet. I, I love that. I hope I'm the right person. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you are. You're great. Um, what's it like being JoJo Siwa's neighbor? Oh, yeah, that's cool. I, I, every time I drive uh, to my house, I see her cars, which is really, they're in her driveway, and you just see JoJo Siwa's face <laughs> everywhere. That's wild. Yeah. Would you ever consider doing that on a car of your own? Um, I personally wouldn't, <laughs> but that's only because I feel like I'm terrified of what people think about me. Oh, my God, the Canadian that just came out. Uh, a bit. Um, but no, I, I, she's, she's very strong, which is cool. Yeah, no, that's very cool. Do you ever hear karma just blasting from her house? No, no, I'm not that close. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> I love that. I would like leave a, some muffins at her door or something. You know, I should, but yeah. I also think that's creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> I might be that creepy guy. She's kind of advertising where she lives in a way though, with the car. Yeah, so, it's a little bit of a billboard. Yeah. Being a car person yourself, is there a car that you have your eye on? Um, or a motorcycle? Wow, that's a fantastic question. I, I mean, the dream is an F40, if you know what that is. No. It's a Ferrari. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, are you going to get it? It's uh, $5 million, so probably not. Okay. <laughs> that's very fair. <laughs> it's that's very where the, expensive. That's where you cut it off. Yeah. It's $5 million. Yeah, that's crazy. What are you looking forward to most with not just getting married, but like being in a marriage? I think it's almost well, we've practically been married for the last six years anyway like we've lived together we've done everything together she's typically by my side to everything um i think more of like i feel like i view once you get married you have kids and i'm excited for that so mm -hmm. i'm excited to like take on the next steps of my life yeah yeah that's crazy i want to be a dad oh that's so exciting yeah that's it do you know how many kids you want to have or is it I think just... three I'm, yeah. a, I'm a kid of four so i think three is probably a better number yeah i'm a kid of four as well yeah? yeah. How many are you going to have? Um, maybe like two. Oh, okay. And hopefully like twin girls pop it out. I want twins. For, I want twin girls for my first. Dude, yeah. that would be so nice. I I'm a girl dad for sure. Yeah. I feel like I could see you as a girl dad. Yeah. I feel I, like I'll be a girl dad too. I really, really want to be a girl dad. Yeah. Um, speaking of, Cover's from Hawaii. Yes, she is. So that means your child's middle name is going to be my, very long. My child is going to be the whitest creature on earth <laughs> with the longest middle name do ever. You, do you have the middle name memorized? She... Uh, Covers or or my your future, future child. child. I don't have my future child one it memorized. Cover does. Yeah. It's fucking long. I know. I've, oh, I can't say what the, she'll get so mad at me if I say the name. But we have a name already picked up for either. Right. Um. But yeah, yeah. But you have covers memorized. Yeah, covers is a cover. Holipo, make makalani, o anella kokulani, Vincent Annan. That's wild. I know. It's I love it. crazy. And every time I say it, people are like, what the f just came out of your mouth? That, you got to get on memorizing the future child. I know, because that's going to bite me in the ass. Yeah. Um, OK, I also want to ask, what is numeric memory? Oh, my goodness. I remember I said that. I don't know what happened. I think I got hit in the head because I don't remember <laughs> shit anymore. But um, I used to, like, growing up, every time I, like, heard a number or, like, saw a number or anything, I never forgot it. Which was crazy. And I know like so many digits of pi, but I don't know what happened ever since I started this job. I don't remember shit. Ah, uh -huh, darn. <laughs> I know. Maybe I, you like grow out of it at some point. Or time. I, I think I just got a splash of the tism. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> and before we go, I thought that we might want to cheers to us uh, maybe not making it. So we're going to cheers and cheers. Thank God you <laughs> came with something. A little 930 in the morning Diet Coke. Let's do this. It's the only time to have a Diet Coke. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to go do the egg block now. So oh, God. Go check out that video, I guess, of us <laughs> just crying. Dude, I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, my fuck.